The film begins by showing a girl in the darkness of the night. It was raining heavily and the girl was standing alone in the forest. Then she goes near a tree and starts making a cross with a knife. Now in the meantime, the girl's mom came here, whose name was Mary. Both of them come in front of a house built in the forest and stops here. Mary makes her daughter stand outside the house and goes inside. Here she meets an old woman whose name was Ambrose, who was a witch. Now Ambrose asks Mary what do you want and why have you come? Then Mary says I want to do black magic on a woman so that the demon comes into her body by controlling her. On this, Ambrose asks for work money and the blood of that woman on whom black magic was to be done. After taking the money and blood, Ambrose gives Mary a knife. Saying this, when black magic is done on the woman, then make a cross mark on her neck with this knife so that she can't come back. Mary asks, how will we discover that she is cursed? Ambrose says as the curse will complete, three fingers of the demon will come out of her neck. Saying this, Ambrose drinks blood. Along with that, she also starts reciting spells and now after a while, the candles on the table go out. With this, Ambrose starts hearing strange voices that only a cursed person could hear but the thing to think about here is that why was Ambrose hearing these voices? With this, he also found out that Mary has done black magic on her and cursed her. In anger, she asks Mary, why did you do all this? And how did you get my blood? Mary tells in anger that this was taken out by my daughter when you were sleeping and now a demon completely possesses Ambrose. Mary makes a cross mark on Ambrose's neck with a knife. In the meantime, Mary's daughter also came inside whom she asked to stay outside. Seeing her, Ambrose quickly grabs her so that the demon inside her goes inside her but when the demon's fingers were going inside her, the girl bites her finger with her teeth. After which both the mother and daughter run out of there. While inside the house, Ambrose was screaming because of the demon. Now we see a ritual magic book which was actually of the demon. Mary's picture was kept inside it which means Ambrose had done magic on her for which she took revenge today. Now the story comes from here after three months we see a girl named Ellie who was always sad because recently her mom died and this is the reason why Ellie wanted to sell her house and go to the city. Ellie was working in the kitchen, suddenly, her mom's favorite music starts playing on the music player. She got very scared, she quickly goes and turns off the music player. She also noticed that the photo frame which she kept upside down a while ago also became straight on its own. Seeing this, she again felt weird. After a while, Ellie went to her mom's room. She takes out the photo album and starts looking at the pictures. Here her mom had put a mark on Ellie and her dad's picture and had ruined their faces. After a while, the phone rings and a girl says there is a job for you I am a woman's caretaker. Your mom had asked to write your name to take care of that woman Ambrose because she had told you that you are a nurse too. Now hearing this, Ellie also started thinking so she tells everything to her friend and asks for advice. Then her friend tells her to do this job. Meanwhile, her friend noticed that there is a big round mark on Ellie's arm. Upon asking Ellie tells her that in her childhood her mom had tried to forcefully take out her blood from the syringe. I don't know the reason for this. When Ellie was sleeping at night and with this dream that her mom is taking out her blood Ellie got scared and opened her eyes. She gets up and goes straight to the bathroom. She realized that there is someone in the room which Ellie could not feel. Even when she was washing her face we see someone passing behind her. Suddenly, she heard her mom's voice who was calling her. When she went ahead to check, her mom's ghost was standing in front of her which was scaring her by saying bad things to Ellie. Ellie also gets very scared. The next morning, when her friend came Ellie told her about what happened last night. Her friend advises her to get checked by a psychiatrist. Actually, these things are visible to you because you have overpowered them on your mind. Meanwhile, in the music player her mom's favorite music starts playing again. This time along with Ellie her friend also got very scared. Now Ellie was fed up with these things so to escape from the house, she agrees to accept this job. That's why both of them leave to go to Ambrose's house. The house was in the middle of the forest where Ellie realized that she has been here before. When she reached the door, the same caretaker was standing there who called Ellie she showed her the whole house and took her to Ambrose's room and told her that she was in a coma. The old woman Ambrose had a daughter who had left her. As they come out of the room, Ambrose opened her eyes which had turned completely black. That means she was not in a coma but possessed. Now Ellie's friend found everything here very strange that's why she didn't want Ellie to work here anymore. She told this to Ellie as well but she had already agreed so she had to stay here. She somehow convinces her friend and makes her leave and the caretaker also left. Ellie now comes to Ambrose and tries to talk to her she tells her about herself and also sees strange marks on Ambrose's legs. 
Suddenly, Ambrose opens her eyes and she starts feeling sick because a strange liquid starts coming out of her mouth which made Ellie very scared. She cleans it with a tissue. Suddenly, the door starts opening and she starts hearing her mom's voice who was calling Ellie. She was scared but followed the voice and went out where Mary's daughter was standing she was quiet and staring at Ellie. At night, when Ellie was sitting outside, she starts hearing her mom's voice again but this time she ignores it and goes to Ambrose's room to check her where she sleeps. Meanwhile, Demon's hand starts coming out of Ambrose's mouth to go inside Ellie but as the finger comes close to Ellie's mouth, the phone rings, Ellie wakes up and Demon's hand disappears from there. She has a friend on the phone who was asking her about her condition. Suddenly, something hits the window which breaks the glass of the window. To check, when Ellie came out, there was a rotten apple in front of the door with a note. She was being warned that she should go from here or else it won't be good. Ellie sees insects coming out of the apple so she immediately throws the apple. She feels weird so she calls the police. When the police officer comes and sees the apple, he says it looks like a kid's prank. He says there are many weird things about this place but I think they are just wrong. The next morning, when Ellie was jogging, she sees Mary's daughter again. This time too she was standing quietly and was looking at Ellie. Here, she starts trying to talk to her but that girl runs away from there without answering. When she comes home, her friend calls her again, Ellie picks up the phone her friend tells her that she is investigating about the caretaker because she looks a weird woman and yes, you also take care of yourself and stay alert. When Ellie was brushing her teeth at night, she starts hearing weird sounds from the floor below. Not only this, when she was sleeping her eyes were opened with some sounds. She went to check in Ambrose's room and stopped outside the door because the sounds were coming from inside. When she put her ears and heard, it felt like someone was reciting a spell and with this, flies start coming out of Ambrose's mouth. The sounds were getting louder and she felt that she is Ambrose's daughter that's why she comes inside quickly but there was none which makes her nervous but she calms down and goes to sleep again where she has a dream about her mom in which she was flying outside this house in the air and she starts throwing apples at Ellie. She also says I won't leave you. Ellie wakes up after seeing this terrible dream. She notices strange marks on her legs. Ellie's friend goes to her dad from whom she got information about Ambrose's house. She gets information about Ambrose and her daughter but she doesn't know anything about the caretaker. Mary and her daughter come to meet Ellie. Here Mary brought her daughter so that she can apologize to Ellie because she was the one who threw that note with the apple that night. She also tells Ellie that you shouldn't be here, I will drop you to the bus station, go home because it is better for you, Ambrose is already dead and the lady inside is not Ambrose but a demon. Ellie doesn't believe her so Mary tells her that I had imprisoned both the mother and daughter in hell. Now Ambrose's daughter wants to free her mother and herself from there for which she needs a young girl's body and that's you that they got and now she will complete her mission through you and will use you in a way for themselves. Even after hearing this Ellie doesn't believe her so she threatens to call the police here. She says to Mary to go away because you are talking nonsense and your daughter is a thief. She has stolen my phone. Mary says that my daughter is not a thief, she just came to warn you to go away. Ellie says if this is the case then she could have said it with her tongue. Why doesn't she say it? The girl shows her mouth and Mary starts telling her. That's why she doesn't say anything because she doesn't have a tongue, Ellie feels bad to see this. She feels pity for the girl Mary tells Ellie that my daughter didn't have a tongue since birth. The doctors told her that she had a tongue but when she was born, it was gone. I know why this happened, someone had eaten her tongue, the one who was inside my daughter at that time. I doubt that she is still inside her, here she was talking about demon and now she says once my husband fell in love with Ambrose's daughter but when my husband left her, she got sad and ran away. Seeing all this, Ambrose felt bad for her daughter to take revenge on my husband, she did black magic on him and my children. That's why my daughter was born like this. In the library, the caretaker was keeping an eye on Ellie's friend. Here she gets scared reading about Ambrose and her daughter and now she got to know that the caretaker is actually Ambrose's daughter. Ellie says I don't believe in black magic and demon spells. Mary says we also didn't believe at first but when my second daughter was born, she died after a week even though she didn't have anything. That's when we started believing in these things. My husband was responsible for everything. After that, me and my daughter took revenge on Ambrose. After that, she warns Ellie again that she should leave from here and she leaves. Ellie's friend, who was already very scared, started to worry about Ellie. That's why she leaves for there immediately. On the way, she was calling her again and again but Ellie didn't pick up the phone. Ellie again hears strange voices so she went to Ambrose's room to check again but she didn't find anything strange there. When she went to the kitchen, she found a secret door on the floor. 
She opened this door and came to the basement where spells were made and many things related to it were also lying there. Here was the book of the demon that we saw at the beginning in which there was Ellie's picture and also of those people on whom Ambrose had cast black magic. Ellie finds her dad's picture means that her mom also had cast a black magic on her husband. Here Annie also found a small bottle of blood on which her name was written. She was very surprised to see this but then it fell down and breaks. All her blood is wasted. Until now, Ellie gets scared that's why she went upstairs and started calling her friend but the phone was not reachable. There, Ellie's friend has a message from Ellie that I have come from Ambrose's house. Seeing this, her friend was satisfied. On the way, she turns the car. Now Ellie started hearing strange voices again that's why she went to Ambrose's room to check. She sees her neck where the cross was made. Seeing this, now she was convinced of Mary's words. She got scared. She tries to run away quickly but the door does not open because someone had locked it and then Ellie's mom comes out from the bottom of the bed and starts scaring her badly. After it, the demon's hand moves towards Ellie from Ambrose's mouth she got scared and starts screaming loudly. When Ellie's friend came to her house, she didn't find her but the caretaker means Ambrose's daughter which means she had Ellie's phone and she had messaged her friend. She now stabs Ellie's friend in the stomach, she also attacked in response. She tries to run away by hitting her with a glass bottle but she comes from behind and catches Ellie's friend. Ellie also escaped and came out of the room. She was sitting at one place, then the police officer came here again. Ellie tells him that Ambrose is dead but he does not believe because voices start coming from inside. Even after Ellie's refusal, he goes inside. The demon suddenly snaps at the officer. He makes him falls down and kills him, now because the officer did not come out for a long time, Ellie goes inside and checks where the demon was eating the officer's corpse. Seeing this terrible sight, she got scared and ran out quickly. Ellie asks for help from the police officer but suddenly Ellie's friend comes there with her car. She hits the officer's car hard. The officer dies. The car is also in a bad condition but in this, Ellie's friend was also injured. Ellie felt very bad. She opens the door of the car and pulls her friend out but here came a twist. It was found that she was not Ellie's friend but Ambrose's daughter who killed her friend and now she had come here with her face. Seeing this, Ellie felt very bad but now she also hits Ellie and makes her conscious. When she came to her senses, there was Ambrose's daughter in front of her who was taking out her blood. She also tells Ellie that you came here with your mom in your childhood. She came to do black magic on her husband but because she did not have money, she gave us your blood which my mom had kept for the time of need but you wasted that blood by breaking the bottle so now I have taken out your blood again. Your mom knew that this time would definitely come that's why she was ashamed and took her life. Ellie asks, but why did you end my friend? But without answering, she hits her and makes her conscious again. This time when she came to her senses, she finds herself lying on the pentagram in the round shape. Ambrose was also with her and now her daughter was going to do some ritual magic so that she could send the demon inside Ellie. Although Annie tries to stop her that she should not do this but to shut her mouth, she puts her friend's skin in Ellie's mouth. Now in a little while, the demon comes out of Ambrose's body. Seeing this, she was very scared because she was doing this to cure her mom but here it was the opposite and now before the demon goes inside Ellie Mary comes here. She strangles Ambrose's daughter's neck and takes her life. She now reads the spells and tries to keep the demon away from Ellie then the demon leaves her and catches Mary. Ellie gets released and picks a knife, then she makes a cross on demon's back which makes him suffer. Mary's daughter also comes here immediately who sets the demon on fire. Now the demon started burning also, the house was also set on fire. Everything started burning to ashes, they come out after burning in the fire, the ghost of Ellie's mom also vanishes and then the door closes. Ellie breaks her mom's favorite CD and goes to her grave and buries it. The next day, when she was working in the hospital, she saw Ambrose's daughter in front of her in a burn ward. She was very injured and was singing Ellie's mom's favorite song. The scary thing was that she had ended all the patients and attached them on wall. So that we could understand that that day Ambrose's daughter was not dead but just fainted and now the demon had come inside her. Seeing this, Ellie got scared badly and started screaming loudly. It means she was not going to spare Ellie so easily. This is the terrible ending of this movie.